New at five, we're learning more about the Norfolk Airport Authority's plan for taxi service. We told you last month when the authority said it was exploring limiting taxi service to just one company. Now the plan relies on proposals from outside companies, and we want to know how you get to and from the airport. Let us know at 13newsnow.com slash vote. And while you're voting, 13 News Now reporter Evan Watson is live at the airport. And this could have a big impact on travelers and taxi companies, right Evan? Yes, well, it's a waiting game for taxi drivers and companies. The Norfolk Airport Authority is looking for a third party to take over the management and the queue system of the taxis here at the airport. Now, that could mean a lot of different things, but the big concern is that that company could propose narrowing it down to only one taxi company that would service the airport. A March email alarmed small taxi owners, stating the airport's intent to outsource taxi operation to a single company. Tuesday's meeting gave a different message. The airport wants a third party to take over managing the taxi dispatch, and any decision on who can service the airport will come from third party proposals. I guess in the next couple months, we'll find out. But uh, right now, I have no clue. I still don't know how to have a clue. The airport authority reports about a $175,000 annual deficit to run on-demand taxi service. Finding a third party would save money. It would replace a lot of our existing labor costs involved in uh, dispatching taxis and uh, in scheduling taxi cab uh, drivers to be at the airport. A black and white cab spokesman says his company could submit a proposal to run the service if the company reviews and can fulfill the airport's request. We understand the airport's position and um, you know, hopefully it'll be something that we would be able to bid on. But, but the concern is the proposal could bar smaller cab companies from servicing the airport, a major hub for taxi service after the rise of Uber and Lyft. Taxi drivers are worried. If we don't have airport, we have nothing. So I will hope that that will not happen. The airport authority says this is just an idea and it will wait on what the proposals offer. But that's the worry for owners like Doug Crane. They don't know what's coming. If they cut, cut out all the, all the small companies and just use theirs or take over you know, the drivers and just switch them over to another company. And uh, that, that would be the demise of all the business owners, small business owners. I asked Steve Sterling with the Norfolk Airport Authority if the airport already runs this management system in the taxis at such a deficit, uh, what could the third party or new company do to make it more efficient, effective, or run it for a profit? He says he's not sure that answer is going to have to come in the proposals, and it could involve some new technology. The airport authority will send out a request for proposals in the next two months. Reporting live here at the airport, Evan Watson, 13 News Now. Well, let's check out what you're saying. It looks like most of you have someone pick you up at the airport. 